Make a date with Rev. Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind the Zenith College at the Life Cathedral in the Zoe Chapel. Make a date with us on Sundays in the morning, 7 to 9, and then um, 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock for two services. And then also um, on Wednesdays, 6.30 to 8 in the evenings. Now, uh, I'm still fascinated by Luke chapter 9. So I'd like to pick another principle from there. Power minus principle equals failure. Or power minus a principle is equal to failure. Now, if you read in Luke chapter 9, I mean, and the earlier verses, you know, from 28 almost, we read the story of Jesus going to the Mount of Transfiguration and then taking his three Apaches or three commandos or three musketeers with him, Peter, James, and John. And the Bible said, as he was praying, the, the fashion of his countenance changed and then his clothes too changed. Now, I'm, I'm very, very intrigued by that and I'm very, very interested in, 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 in that. Now, and the Bible says that, you know, they had an experience with Elijah and, uh, Elijah and Moses and then um, uh, Elijah and Moses came to equip Jesus with revelation. They came to equip Jesus with information. They came to equip Jesus with something that was going to empower him for the ordeal of tomorrow. And um, the Bible says, you know, Peter then uh, cries out and then says that, Lord, it is good that we're here. Let us build a tent for you and let us, uh, let's not go down and let's not, you know, all this wahala downstairs and all people uh, ha uh, harassing you and all those things and all the some people meaning to kill you and all those things. Let's stand there. Jesus gave him a rebuke. But now I'm interested in Luke chapter 9, 37 to 41. There's a very interesting principle over there. Now the Bible says, when they came down from the mountain, the next day a man came to Jesus whose son was de demonized. That means was being influenced by something that the young man could not, the young lad could not control. The lad could not control. Something, another force, another power was acting upon that young boy. And the Bible says, I mean, that spirit throws him down. And the man made a statement and he said, listen, I have brought a problem. I have brought a problem. And you know what? I have given it to your disciples to, to handle. And when he says disciples, it included those who went to the Mount of Transfiguration. Those who went to the Mount of Transfiguration, the Bible said that including Peter, James, and John, you know, they had tried casting out the demon to no avail and they were unsuccessful. Then Jesus made a statement. He said, ah, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? Faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? Hmm. Four people went to the Mount of Transfiguration. Four people saw Elijah and Moses. Four people received, I mean, or four people saw life-changing experience or were, 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 uh, were uh, what we call spectators to a life-changing experience. Four people went there. And the Bible said when they came down, one of them was, you know, resting, and the three had joined the people. And there was a, a problem and the, the rest of the disciples couldn't solve it, including those who had been to the Mount of Transfiguration. And then that bothered me a little bit. And this is where I'm coming from. So they had experienced a very powerful moment. But guess what? The purpose for Jesus taking them up to the mountain was to pray. But instead of praying, they became spectators. And so when they came down, there was a powerful experience on the mountaintop. But you know something? The powerful ex experience was just on their exterior. It never became an interior factor with them. It never went into them. 
It never built their faith. What I'm trying to say is that they, they, they saw power, but it didn't build their faith. Because the reason for the failure in casting out the, the, uh, the demon possessed or freeing the demonized person was nothing else but faith. That's what Jesus said. Oh, faithless generation. So guess what? They were on the mountaintop. If they had seen Elijah and uh, Moses, their faith should have increased. Hey, the things that we read about and all those, they are true. They are no joke. You get it? This, this, this God thing is not an easy thing. It's a powerful thing. And equipped with that knowledge, equipped with that information, they could have stood in faith and rebuked that distance and said, come on, go off. And that was a time for them to exercise the principle they had learned on the mountaintop. They have seen power, but they are not lent to the principle of power. And as a result of that, they couldn't handle the everyday issues of life. They couldn't handle a challenge when it presented itself. Many people go to church, they hear all sorts of things, they see all sorts of things. It never increases their faith. It never builds principles in them. Principles that will take them to meet the challenges of tomorrow. Principles that will, that, that will empower them or that will equip them to deal with the issues of, of life. So they are just there. So you get it. They, they, they receive a drenching of, 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 of ministry in, in, in the chapel. But when they step out, it never sunk in. It never went in. They were spectators to a powerful prophet. They were spectators to a powerful preacher. They were spectators to, to uh, a, a powerful sermon. They were spectators to the, but inside them, nothing registered. No transformation took place. No change took place. No buildup of their faith. No buildup of principles. No increased knowledge. No increased faith. No increased principle. No polished principle. And so sometimes you wonder why people fail. So you can have a very glorious moment, a very powerful moment on the Mount of Transfiguration. But if the principles, you can have a powerful moment on the Mount of Transfiguration, but if the principle, the faith building principle, the virtue building principle, the informative building principle doesn't sink in, you would walk down and then you meet failure. You know what? Let's not just be spectators to what God does. Let's become participants by imbibing the principles that will make us walk a powerful life. See you later.